Hello Aries, I hope you're well. This is Andrea from Truth Well Told Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading and it will be from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. So Aries, um, it's going to be a mini reading um, because obviously there's a lot going on around Christmas. So, but nevertheless, if the message is meant for you, it will still resonate. So I'm going to pull three cards, Aries. First card is your challenge. Second card is advice and spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. So let's see what we get for you for the week. So what is the message for Aries, please? Angel spirits, guides for the week, please. Thank you. Okay, so we have the hanged man. Here's your challenge position. The Eight of Wands is advice from spirit and your outcome. Oh my goodness, we've got the Ace of Swords. I mean, I love this energy. <laughs> um, this can be a card of waiting, waiting for something to play out. It feels like there's been some delays here, Aries. You know, it could be around Christmas. It could be to do with the pandemic. You could just feel stuck you know, stuck. And, you know, that could be in terms of money and career, that could be other life situations. But it feels like something is making you feel just stuck. You know, the hanged man is a great energy, sometimes sometimes looking at something from a different perspective. Because when, when you open your mind to alternative options, propositions, routes forward, things that you might not have even considered, that's when you suddenly click. That's when you suddenly see the way forward. So for some of you, it could be open your mind to maybe some lateral opportunities, maybe for you or lateral routes forward that may not have been considered, you know, as maybe in terms of money, business, career, or, you know, whatever life situation you're facing it can also be where you're just waiting for something to happen. Things quite haven't lined up, uh, in terms of, of of happening for you. But this is the alignment card. This is things beginning to line up, things beginning to happen, things beginning to move. And this is the advice from Spirit. The Eight of Wands is a card of news, incoming news, fast incoming news that is bringing swift shifts, swift movement. Can sometimes be linked with travel, so whether you've been waiting or looking at something in a different way, considering other possibilities, you know, for example, Aries, you know, if, if you, I mean, it's not limited to money, business and career, but for example, if you've always worked in one industry, it might well be taking your talent experience and translating it to another industry. You know, it's that kind of energy and that might bring the shift. Um, but it's also if you're waiting for something to play out there is some shift movement happening um, this week and this sometimes can be about communication coming into you news coming into you that is bringing a shift can sometimes be um, a conversation that leads to something solid for me as a reader um, it's a great energy of positive shifts um, fast-paced change yeah and aligning I mean remember that it's, it's aligning to to where you need to be to what you've been focusing on and this is what I'm saying the hanged man is a great aligning card um, you see and it's shown that the, the actual tree trunk the tree of knowledge goes straight through the center of the card because sometimes when we get to the hanged man it can be a sense of how do I move forward? And it is that period of limbo where we are aligning to change, you know, to adapting to change. And that's what the hangman does so well. So I definitely feel for some of you, this can be about aligning to where you need to be, news coming your way, shifts, very positive energy indeed because there's a great energy that whatever this is, whatever this news is, whatever this shift is or conversation, it is bringing you a victory, a breakthrough. Wow, a breakthrough. 
Yeah, because this is the, the universe, God, the divine, the hand of God, giving you back your crown of power, your crown of success, your crown of self-identity, who you are, what you stand for. And it's the warrior's sword, which is very fitting for Aries, being the warrior. So it definitely feels in this energy, this is your victory. And, you know, the mountains represent that you had to climb a lot of mountains. You've had to overcome a lot of obstacles. There could have been quite a few setbacks here, Aries. But this feels like it's the last hurdle because for some of you, this is the victory, the breakthrough that you've been waiting for. And it's a powerful one. You know, this can also be um, communication. You know, the sword is communication, energy, decisions, um, but it is a victory card. It's a card of success, the Ace of Wands, uh, sorry, Ace of Swords. So very, very beautiful indeed, Aries. Love the energy. So I'm going to pull you a final card. Final message for Aries, please, for the week. Thank you. Final message for Aries for the week. Very beautiful cards, Aries, I have to say. Thank you. So we have Eagle. <laughs> I mean, that's beautiful because the Eagle is a representation of divine energy. You're being watched over. So ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. You're being watched over here, Aries. Could be by people you've lost ancestral lines. And we have the horse, free spirit. Give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. But what I'm also seeing in this is with that hanged man energy, the universe is saying you have the power to go in any direction that you choose now. Don't see yourself as being stuck in limbo. And again, that hanged man energy can sometimes be a state of mind. The hand man wants you to open your mind to all possibilities. And I definitely feel for some of you, that's what that card represents. I also feel that this Ace of Swords is cutting ties, breaking free, or feeling maybe stuck in a situation. There's some kind of shift coming your way, a big energy shift here that is bringing liberation. Absolute and victory. Absolutely beautiful Aries. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you Aries. I wish you also a happy new year and I will see you next time. Thank you.